everybody. Welcome to the show. This is episode number one, and we are the Blogsy guys. We're the guys behind Blogsy, which you can see we actually have the homepage up for Blogsy. And I guess what you do at the beginning of the show number one, no matter what show it is, is you kind of introduce yourselves. So I'm Lance. And I'm Sean. And behind the camera. I'm Jusung. Yeah, we have Jusung. He's going to buy. Uh, be kind of the cameraman, and but he'll be in the show sometimes when he has something to contribute, something he wants to say, and we're just going to have fun. To me, the purpose of this show is to have fun, really. Yeah, right. I mean, day after day, we have our noses in the screen, <laughs> going through code and everything, so we want to do something fun once in a while, and this is a way to get away from that. and. Hopefully have some communication with you guys out there too. And I want to make sure, to me, this is not a show just about Blogsy. It's just we happen to be the guys behind Blogsy. So the format, I'm sure it'll evolve over time. It'll evolve over time. But the format I'm kind of looking for is we'll go back and forth on some blog articles because it's Blogsy, <laughs> right? Some blog articles out there on the webosphere, out there in the internet that we think are interesting. And then we'll probably each have an app suggestion. And then towards the end, if we have something to talk about related to Blogsy, we'll leave it towards the end. So for all of you that have no interest in listening to that, you can just cut the show from there. For you, those that are interested, then you can continue watching from there or just go directly to there towards the end of the show. So that's what I'm thinking of format. But you know how these things go. <laughs> Over time, Right. It's going to evolve. And I'm really hoping too, <clears throat> I think we're all hoping, that you guys will get involved. You'll actually help us decide what we're going to talk about. I know we have to do some kind of intro too, if you guys could help us with that. And not only that, even from the beginning, we're struggling with a, with a, a name for the show. Mm -hmm. Right now, I guess we're just going with the Blogsy guys, but... None of us really think that's the best <laughs> name either. So, uh, I don't know. If you guys have some suggestions, let us know. When, when this is all up and done, it will be part of iTunes, the podcast, you know, like a normal podcast. But I'll also, <clears throat> I'll also put it as a post in our blog. So, if you guys have some feedback, disagree with us, agree with us, something else you want to add, please do a comment. And mm, also... If, if you have any ideas about the next show, what you would like to, us to talk about, uh, uh, let us know in the comments. And one thing that I, one thing that I think that's kind of cool is, if you guys don't already know, we're in South Korea. Right. Right? So... I'm Korean. Right. He's Korean. Jusung's Korean. <clears throat> and it's, it's pretty amazing, their English, considering it's not their first language. <laughs> so... I, I would have a hard time doing this in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should do it in Korean later. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> um, so I think that uh, I would kind of like to have a little bit of a Korean flavor to it. What's tech like on this side of the world? Right. You know, Korea is a pretty advanced... Uh, it's known for its advanced technology and Samsung and Kia and some of the companies here. So. People in the West don't always know what it's like here, the tech world is like here. So maybe a little bit of flavor in there. It's not going to only focus on Korea, but mm -hmm. a little bit of flavor like yeah. that. Yeah, right. Really fun. Oh, here. you got to make sure that that stays on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First show. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anything else you want to throw in? Um, I'm just, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. And it's the first time I took like this kind of video podcast. And I'm, I had a cold. <laughs> My voice is not perfect right now. <clears throat> sorry, sorry about that. And I'm not a, a native English speaker, so yeah, I hope you guys understand my uh, language, my English. But yeah, I'll try my best. Yeah, yeah I think they'll have no problem yeah. understanding it. <laughs> and it's funny because, yeah, I know you were worried about doing this with your cold and. And but you were talking fine, and as soon as it recorded, you're like, <laughs> and I can't barely talk anymore. <laughs> Actually, I didn't talk until now. Uh, not much. You're, you're right. You're right. 
Okay, so I guess mm, the basic format will just follow that. Let's start off with topics that we have to bring up. And we, we haven't really sh talked about this before, so we don't know how it's going to go. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the first one, I'll, I'll start off with the first one I have. And the first one is the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. You know the lawsuit between Samsung and Apple? Right. And it was maybe Apple back in April that sued Samsung. And now Samsung has turned around and mm -hmm. sued Apple back. I think you guys know it's an old, little bit of an old story now. Mm -hmm. You know most of the details that are going on. But I'm kind of curious, kind of the Korean side of it. How do Koreans feel? Mm -hmm. I, as a as a Korean, I uh, actually I'm an Apple fanboy, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, matter of fact, I don't like Samsung that much. Um, uh, <laughs> Lots of hate mail that. from Koreans. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I didn't say it. Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> Samsung. I, I don't like Samsung's the the company culture kind of things, uh -huh. and uh, but to seeing the roast between Apple and Samsung, I kind of feel proud. It's interesting because you know, Samsung is kind of the only country that can compete Apple right now. That, that only mostly, company? Yeah, like, or the second best company or something. Yeah, because like in the tablet market also, Apple's iPad is leading the market, but the next one is, you know, obviously Samsung's Galaxy Tab, isn't it? And mm. the HP is following that, and all of the companies following that, but yeah, that roast it also makes me feel that Apple is concerning Samsung as their competitor. Right, yeah. right. And I've seen some write-ups in some of the blogs about that, that, you know, it's so strange. Really, what Apple should be doing is innovating, and through innovation, they don't have to really worry about people copying them, or, right. or everybody's just playing catch-up. Mm -hmm. So if you're the leader, if you're innovating, don't worry about that. But why is Apple doing this? It's, mm -hmm. There's a lot of debate right now. They're scared. Right. Right, exactly. And who is it? Amazon. Mm -hmm. Amazon is putting out a tablet, and it's actually going to be a Samsung tablet. Oh. But just branded, branded by Amazon. As far as I know, that's mm. that's what I read about. Right. So obviously Samsung is is putting up, yeah, mm. kind of fighting up there. <laughs> so would you say in general, just the Korean culture here, yeah. <clears throat> Koreans are defending Samsung. Koreans really don't know about it, or Koreans don't care about it, or Koreans fall on the Apple side? I, I don't know. Um, I think it depends on personality. It's not every Koreans think which way, but <clears throat> um, yeah, I think many of Koreans uh, feel proud of Samsung, so I think they're kind of part of Samsung, but um, like many tech readers in Korea, like Apple things, Apple like Apple's iPhone, iPad, all this stuff changed its Korean market too. You know, mm. after they came into Korea, that whole market has been changed. So they really like Apple, and I don't know, maybe they're inside of Apple in that case. Okay, okay. yeah, I don't know. It took what three years for the iPhone to come, yeah, and then all of a sudden, boom, right. it completely changed Korea. Right. So, okay. I think that's enough said. I don't know what you, what what do you have? Oh, uh, my first topic is about the Final Cut Pro 10. The Apple uh, recently released the Final Cut Pro 10. Final Cut Pro was the like market leading video editing app mm. between the pros, professionals, until now. <laughs> but after that Final Cut Pro 10 release, many professionals are complaining about that because. They changed so much. They changed too much. So the 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 uh, previous users had to be get used to it to mm. use it. They had to learn it, and there are some missing features. Something like they can't open the like Final Cut Pro Seven's pro uh, projects in Final Cut Pro Ten. So many I saw many videos and reviews, blog posts that. They are complaining about the Final Cut Pro 10, and what I think is, uh, like other bloggers said, that 
Mm, Apple is kind of not supporting the professionals that much. That's what I was exactly thinking. You know, uh, to me, my feeling is Apple puts out stuff and it's usually pretty good, but it's not perfect. They have things, for example, when the iPhone first came out, cut and paste, right? right? They, they missed some features. But with the consumer market, mm -hmm. Apple can go, mm, if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, yeah. you know, forget that's you. Apple's way. Yeah, yeah, that's Apple's way. But this is professional market. You know, and even in Korea, Apple is not big in Korea. It's very, very small compared right. to the West. They don't even have <clears throat> they don't even have the official retail store in Korea. Yeah. Right. But when I go to recording studios, there's they're using Apples. Mm. You know, so that's a professional uh, segment of the market, and I, t I don't know. I think Apple needs to be careful with that. <laughs> yeah, and like the John Gruber, that I like the, the he's kind of uh, my favorite blogger, John Gruber from the Daring Fireball. Mm -hmm. He today or yesterday he linked some uh, blog posts from the Sechin A Agarwal. How do you read this? <laughs> the Indian name. <laughs> Sachin Argawal. Yeah. Ar Argawal. Yeah. He is the co co founder of the Postures and uh -huh. he posted about actually he worked for Apple in in two thousand and anyway, few few years before few years before he worked for Apple and he said the same thing. He he think Apple doesn't care about pro space. Mm. So, they just care about normal customers. You know, the pros don't. Pro market is very small, right? So they don't spend much money to buy stuff. Actually, they spend much money to buy stuff, but there are not many. So right. So know. usually the strategy is really high price right. for the smaller market. Right. But maybe. Yeah, maybe they're. I don't know their finances, so maybe <laughs> there's not enough of justification in there. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems like yeah, it seems like with Lion that's coming out, mm -hmm. it's going to come out for thirty bucks. Mm -hmm. That's really low, considering how much right. Windows would cost a Windows update. So yeah, maybe they're focusing more and more on consumer, and just we don't care about professionals right. anymore. You know, and I heard that. The reason that Apple can do that strategy is they they sell the hardware too. Oh, yeah. They earn money from the hardware, so they can sell the software very cheap price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know about the Final Cut Pro 10, people are saying that they should name it like iMovie Pro. Oh yeah, I heard yeah. that. I heard that. It's <laughs> not close to Final Cut. It's more close to the iMovie. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I. Recently installed the program, but I haven't used it yet. But maybe I'll use it to edit this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how it goes. Make yeah. Sure. Right. So, but at first look, it looks similar to the iMovie, right? So, mm. yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'll tell you what I can find. Okay. okay. The the next one I have the next <clears throat> is really big right now. Uh, Google Plus. Right. Right, and I've I've heard everybody's on Twitter and everywhere. Oh, I want to! I want an invite! I want an invite! And thankfully, Sean, you sent me an invite. Right. But I'm one of the people that got an invite, and I haven't even used it. It's <laughs> just sitting there because this is my problem. Because I've had my own personalized email, my own site for a decade, and then I moved over three, four, five years ago. I don't know to Google Apps. So I'm still sitting with that email address. Mm -hmm. But these services like Google Plus, you have to have a Gmail. And nobody knows me by my Gmail. <laughs> so my connections aren't through there, so it's kind of pointless for right. me now. So every new product from Google, mm, I think they, uh, obviously they have to use the official Gmail account, but later if the Google Plus is spread it widely, then they'll, they'll maybe allow it to use by, with that Google Apps account too. Yeah, but <laughs> if you're a it, yeah, if you're a Google Apps user, you know how long it took. Yeah. It's only recently that I can use Picasa and Orkut or those kind of things through my Google Apps. Mm -hmm. And that was a long, long time. Yeah. 
So mm -hmm. hopefully it's not another three to five years or whatever before yeah. they do that. The reason I could get that Google Plus uh, invite is that I'm the the Google Technology User Group. I'm the organizer of the Google Technology User Group in Seoul. So yeah, in Seoul here. <laughs> <laughs> so that they sent out the invites to every managers around the world so I could get the invites and as soon as they allow the invite uh, by that Google Plus users I sent out to our, our colleagues and my friends but I heard that I realized that they recently closed that invite mm -hmm. again because there's too much demand or something yeah and, and, uh, and yeah it was too just too big a growth and also I heard it popped up on eBay the, mm, on eBay right. you could actually they buy invites invite. But th what I heard these people talking about that, I think it was on uh, Buzz Out Loud, they weren't sure how it's going to work because if they stopped allowing invites, then how do these people sell the invites? You know, I, don't know. <laughs> right. I guess that's their concern. I got one. Ooh, and I don't use <laughs> and it. And Jason got one too, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Jason used that several times. I saw yeah. that. You know, I, yeah, I've been using it too, but not as many as Facebook. Yeah, can you can you actually pull it up real quick so oh, we can look at it? Because I haven't messed around with it at all, really, and I just like to see <coughs> how it goes. It's the address. <coughs> I'm sorry. You don't have to put in your password or anything on screen, do you? I don't think so. The address is plus.google.com. Okay. And I'm not sure the Wi-Fi here is uh, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Are, do you have both my Wi-Fi set up? Yep. Okay. Try the other a little closer one. <coughs> maybe maybe it's not on this end. Maybe it's just so much traffic going to it. Everybody's <coughs> talking about it and doing it. Talking about yeah. It and doing it. Yeah, it's the first show. <laughs> yeah, we'll have the that. tabs open in the oh, future. Oh, it's here. It's my account logged in. Okay. And it really looks really similar to Facebook. Oh, so it's pretty much... But, but I've been seeing stuff like um, where it had the balls for groups. Yeah, the well, circles. What is, what, yeah, what is that? Balls. <laughs> 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 they call it circles. <laughs> we have an inside joke because in our in blog, Z, <laughs> next to the date you'll see a round circle to know if you've loaded it from the web, web and it's a local copy of it and there's changes made to it. And it's actually a circle and a filled circle, but we start calling it balls. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, show me the balls here. Yeah, the circle UI is very uh, innovative things they have done. So, it's made by HTML5 and it really feels smooth and they use very good animation. So, here is that people, uh, you, people that in, are in your address book. And you can drag the people to the circle, like family, friends, uh, acquaint acquaintance. Yeah, so you can drag it. You can just drag them to the circles, or you can drag out them from the circle. And, and this is up here is all your uh, like your address bar, your or not address, your uh, contact list yeah, or whatever. Contact it's list. everybody. Yeah, um, you can choose everyone who are using Google. You don't Plus. have very many friends. <laughs> Uh, no, it's uh, more than this, but I think these are the ones who are using Google+. Plus, okay, okay. Yeah. And you can... I'm not sure about that, but if you invite someone who are not using Google+, Plus, maybe they are sending out the invites, but I'm not sure about that right now. So... Oh, interesting. Leo Laporte. Do you know him? <laughs> well, everybody that watches podcasts oh, really? knows him, yeah. There's a Larry Page. Google's CEO. Oh, Loic. Yeah, Loic, our friend. Yeah, many uh, famous people are here. You can find in the <laughs> So, so, but what does this do? What, what? It's like a, your uh, a Facebook um, friends group or something. Uh, you can when you post something on Google Plus, you can choose which circle you are you want to share. So. So can you can you show me can you do like a we're we're doing our first podcast now? Yeah. We are doing our first, first podcast. podcast. Okay. And you can choose um, Okay. 
Oh, here you go. You can choose friends, family, acquaintance. And you can set up other bowls, right? Or yeah. other circles. <laughs> right, you can set up the circles. And you can choose one and you can erase the circle or you can choose multiple circles if you want. So it only is visible by the people in that group? Right, exactly. Ah. And you can see only the timelines from that circle too. You have no family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And you're okay. in the Google Plus yet. And the good point that one of my uh, uh, Twitter, one of the guy in the Twitter that I'm following, he mentioned that you know, like the people who are bilingual, yeah. they can choose, they can make their English speaker circle and Korean speaker circle, mm -hmm. and they can you know use that that language, special mm. language to their circle. So mm. it's very convenient. Mm. Yeah, it looks it looks interesting. I maybe I'll play with that. Play around with it, but nobody knows me by my Gmail address, so <laughs> I've got no f no friends in that one, and no friends in my regular one either. So. <laughs> okay, wow, it does look cool. But you're you're uh, you're kind of a Facebook, uh, yeah, I'm, naysayers or yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't do Facebook. Sorry, <laughs> I, I I just can't get into Facebook. I don't know why. I, I don't want to bash anything, but it, Facebook is just not my thing. I, I'm I love Twitter. And I think this is just for you, right, just right for you, because I saw one uh, fun web cartoon that says one guy asked his friend that, well, hey, what is Google Plus that people are saying about them? He said, oh, it's something similar to Facebook, but not a Facebook. Oh, they might have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just for me. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it, it, it catches on. Yeah. I, the, I don't, again, I don't want to bash Facebook. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to go down that road here. But it really bothers me. I've I've downloaded a few apps, mm -hmm. and then to use it, the only way to use it is to use your Facebook credentials. That bug bothers me. Mm -hmm. As soon as I see that, I have no interest in the app anymore. I don't care what it does. I'm mm -hmm. not going to put in my Facebook credentials. No, we two have very different <clears throat> characteristics, the personalities. So it'll be fun to see it. To, uh, in the next episodes, right? <laughs> <laughs> to a very different pattern of using the services. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. Okay. Um, I think. Hey, Jusung, do you have any idea what what time we're running on this? How how long we've gone? Twenty two. Twenty two minutes. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any more topic? No. Do you want to? Okay. Your last topic. Okay. I'll choose my last topic. I actually have. Three more topics that I prepared, but oh, it's not <laughs> not a touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> you want to change that to what? Oh, uh, just back to that tab. <laughs> you really? <laughs> no, I was playing. I was playing. I know it's not a touch screen. Someday, right? Uh, Apple TV. <laughs> right, Apple TV. Um, the thing I want to bring up is uh, the Facebook's awesome thing. Facebook. Announced last week that. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? Is there anything <laughs> awesome about Facebook? <laughs> Go ahead, I'm just kidding. Yeah, they announced last week that they will announce something awesome this week, actually this Wednesday. And people guess that it might be the iPad, uh, Facebook iPad app, the official Facebook iPad app. That or Spotify. Mm -hmm. Right? That I heard people weren't sure if it was going to be the iPad app or a relationship with Spotify. And we can't use Spotify. Uh, Spotify. Spotify's not here. You know, I don't know the details of Spotify, but it's like a music mm. I don't know the service. details either, but yeah. Yeah, I it's, heard the name. Yeah, it's not here. So yeah. But just... this morning I saw some news and they say it's a confirmed. And they say it's a Skype-powered video chat chatting software thing that is the what faith facebook will announce skype power yeah. windows just bought skype right windows bought skype microsoft bought skype i don't i thought they so. just really yeah they bought skype and they they were gonna what the, this what i'm guessing with this is they're going to tie it in with xbox connect and so you'll be able to sit in front of your television with the xbox connect and call your friends and family around the world. And so I would be really... Oh, right. 
I would be really surprised. Really? Microsoft and Facebook mm. working together against Apple? Maybe. <laughs> because of FaceTime? Maybe FaceTime has seen a huge drop in Skype? Mm -hmm. Actually, that in the Google Plus, there's something I didn't mention. There's something called... Uh, I forgot the name. But the video chatting, the group video, ch video chatting features, they call it the Hangout. And it's multiple, pe multiple yeah. people can video. Yeah, they can chat, they can video chat with multiple people. So people are saying that Facebook is trying to compete that. Oh, wow, that could be. Yeah. Okay. So it's competing with Google more so than with Apple. Right. Um, That's what people think. Okay. I know, I know personally, since <clears throat> I got iPad 2 and, and uh, friends and family in the America, got iPad 2. I was always using Skype before, but I stopped using it, FaceTime. And actually, between the two, I find them very similar in quality. It's not like, to me, yeah, Skype, Skype video and... Face, uh, uh, FaceTime? You mean? Yeah, FaceTime and, and the video, Skype, the video quality to me coming from here to stateside is very similar. So the reason I'm using FaceTime is it just seems, it's integrated. It's very easy to do. Easy to get in, right? You know that's that's the benefit of the making hardware and software in the same time. That's what Apple does well. So, you yeah. think this is going to help Facebook? And mm. how many people on Facebook? Again, I'm not a user, <laughs> but I don't. I can't think of too many people on Facebook that I want to be doing. Maybe I shouldn't say that in case someone watches. <laughs> <laughs> no, our uh, uh, podcast listeners who are in Facebook. No, I'm just talking about uh, how many. Yeah, you have a large group of people on your Facebook follow and whatever mm -hmm. in Facebook, and now that you have this feature, are you going to be doing? Video chat with oh, them. Such a thing. I don't know if they if they make this video chatting feature very uh, easy to use. Then yeah, maybe it will be some innovative feature. But I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But but even if it's to me, it's not the part of just being easy. The part to me is it, it really video chat sucks your time. Mm -hmm. Where chatting, mm -hmm. even like Twitter or whatever. You can space it out. Okay, I'm in the middle of concentrating on this, and then, oh, I got a message. I can wait a little bit and do it. But yeah. video, you have to be focused. Right. And you can't do multiple things at once, not right. very well, when you're doing video right. chatting. And even the FaceTime, I don't think many people are using that. Only people I see that they're using FaceTime is someone like you who have family in the, in abroad. You know, mm -hmm. in, other countries or who have babies, you know, <laughs> people who have babies, they're crazy about the FaceTime yeah. with the baby, so, but I don't, I, I didn't see any couples or some friends who does FaceTime that much, even if it's, it's been released like years. No, yeah. You're, you're right. I mean, if you have it on your device, right. I can see, it's still, it's just easier to call. I mean, why do most of the time, why do you have to look at the person? Right. And, and if you do do Skype connected with the uh, Xbox Connect, then it's an event. You gotta, okay, let's go to the living room, let's sit down, let's turn it on, let's go, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> where you don't have the freedom. This, okay, I'm in, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, just ignore the sounds, mom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. You have the freedom of movement mm -hmm. where... So we'll see what the future holds. Right. Facebook doesn't have their own device, so it'll be difficult to compete with Apple's FaceTime, maybe. Well, unless they can integrate it in this new app, great yeah. iPad app they're going to come out with. Then, yeah. Actually, for me, that Facebook for iPad will be more excited, but mm, I'm looking forward to this, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, could, I could care less. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I guess um, moving on to some app stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one I'm going to throw out there, and it's one that probably I don't know how many people know about. It's not a big name one. It's, it's called 
uh, I guess I should have had my iPad on already, mm -hmm. but it's, it's called Simple Resize. And for me, I get an amazing amount of use out of this. You're going to look it up? Yep. Cool. Um, basically, <clears throat> I have a blog for each of my daughters. And I have one blog for my daughter. I set up a theme on it where it takes the first image in the blog post and uses it as, as kind of a, a cover. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Can you pull up an Avia site? aviabarton.com and and so it takes the the first image in that blog post and uses it on uses it on the cover mm -hmm. right but the problem is that if the image is too large it doesn't automatically shrink it down so i have to find an image that exactly fits oh, pain in the butt so for me, I actually like doing it through Blogsy. I can go to my personal photo site. I don't, I, I, I use Coppermine, and so I have my own photo site. And I can take an image from that photo site, drop it in the drawer that comes out in Blogsy, and <clears throat> that I know I'm gonna use for that post, then I jump out of Blogsy and go to Simple Resize, and it's just almost instantaneous. I pull up that image, and choose the size I want it to be, and then save it, Go back to Blogsy, and I can upload the image from within Blogsy and use it in a post. And then that first image is actually sucked up and is the right size for this front end of it. So it saved me a lot of time. I used to avoid doing this because I'd have to open up Photoshop, which, you know, that's a memory hog on your, your yeah. laptop. It takes so much time just to resize and then save it. And it just became a huge process. But with this, I have to say, the guys at Simple, Size, Simple Resize, it's great. It's a free app, too. Mm -hmm. It's really free. I do wish they had battery size. But, uh -huh. you know, for a free app, it does have a memory. So I can open one from the library, resize it, open another one from the library, and it keeps that mm -hmm. same sizing. So it's quick that way. I just wish it, wish it had batch. But other than that... I just want to throw props out to them. I don't know if they get a lot of recognition. I think the, in the iOS 5, the, they have the built-in photo editing app, mm. photo editing feature. So, in my thinking, the, until the iOS 4, the iPhone or iPad's photo editing is, was really poor, mm. right? There is no lot rotating feature, there is no resizing feature. Mm. But after the iOS 5 comes out, I think it will be improved and the apps like that have to try uh, better to compete them, isn't it? Yeah, I agree and, and I don't know, I haven't seen how the photo editing works, how easy it is to resize. You know, if it's going to be resized very simple like, like that, has a dragging bar or even, I prefer the dragging because it's quicker than actually typing in, but if it's simple like that and quick, yeah. But if it's not, I'll just stay with this. I feel it, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Fanboy! <laughs> okay, what do you got for an app? Um, I, <clears throat> I have actually three apps, but they're all similar. It's, uh, okay. it's kind of a... Um, uh, um, the heat, uh, heat right now, the boom. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. A trend, yeah, boom, trend, yeah, trend. popular. Right. Hot topic. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a video app, but like a watch it later thing. It's a video app, but you can save the video to watch it later. Like it's like an Insta paper for videos. But it caches, so or it just gives you the the link to it. Okay, there's a, two apps. The Squirrel. Okay. Squirrel. The app called Squirrel. Uh, I will show you. It's uh, something like Insta paper for videos, but it just saves the link. So if you're not connected to uh, to internet, you can watch the videos. But there's other thing that's called Roadshow. Hmm. Um, okay, I can't find the website. <laughs> I should have prepared that. But <laughs> the Roadshow actually saves the videos to your device. So even if you're offline, you can watch the video later. And it, 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 can, it can pull 
YouTube videos, Vimeo videos, uh, TED Talks, right. uh, pretty much anything out there? I haven't checked, but I think I, it seems like they support many video sites, but I don't think they support like every video sites, but yeah, they pretty much support many things. And you haven't told me about this one before? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Actually, we don't talk that much. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, because that was one of my biggest complaints. I don't watch a lot of YouTube video because I just hate waiting for it to load. Mm. If I can throw it somewhere, a link, and say watch it later, then before you're falling asleep or something like that, you can go through. Yeah. And does does it set up a playlist, or do you have to manually choose one after another? I haven't checked it yet, but yeah, I think they they have that. But yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, a playlist would be huge. Yeah. You'd make a playlist. I wonder, that'd be cool too if you could share playlists. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, yeah. I'm excited about that. That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> the download is, both are free. Okay. And there's one more thing. It's called Pleasy. It's actually, uh, it's also about the videos, but they have the apps too, but it's actually a service. So they have, you can use it on the web too. And they are like the Flipboard for videos. Uh. So... It looks very similar to a Flipboard, and uh, you can set the channels. So they show all the channels here. If you tap on it, I oh, like Ted. I yeah, see Ted in there. You can see it's like like video podcasts too. You can see all the videos in that channel, and as soon as they update it, you can watch it too. So yeah, I think it's really um, good uh, approach to. Uh, for yeah, it, it, especially, it, does it cache? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, see, so then you got to wait for loading times again. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that, what's the other one? That it, that it was really cool, the UI was cool, and it had all the videos going out maybe two months ago or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? I deleted it, so I can't. Oh, uh, you mean the, about the musicians? The music? No, 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 it's a video. It was all video. And it was a different way to discover videos, and it was... Oh, uh, um, You're the one that showed me. Um, I forgot the name. It was a, <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit of a hit. Yeah. Uh, v, uh, it started with V. <laughs> Vidi, isn't it? Isn't it this one? That's when you shoot, isn't it? No, I'm talking about one that would compete with this. But uh, the way it had it is... <clears throat> like small boxes, big boxes, and as you, there's like no edge. You could you could swipe oh, across and go out. Right, and, right, right. There was something like that. It's in my iPad, but I don't have it right now. So <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, we'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah, tell you later. And I thought the UI was really cool for that. But, yeah. <clears throat> but it, I ran into the same problem. You once you decide on one, the load is just. I'm in. I guess I'm impatient. It's mm. my problem. Yeah, that app has... One of many problems. <laughs> that app uh, has very good UI that you don't have any pages. You can just scroll it to the right or left or up or down. You can just watch many videos as you want. Okay. Okay. So I guess uh, that pretty much is the meat of our show, but... Mm, closing, just talking a little bit about Blogsy. So I don't know if you guys know, if you've watched, looked at our blog or whatever. We're in the middle of, or coming actually, not in the middle, coming towards the end of a pretty major update. Mm. I mean, we're, we're rewriting the whole sign up for WordPress section because right now under the current version there's some issues if you have an MS or an MU, um, if you use HTTPS, if um, <clears throat> also if uh, you have HT access and uh, a file set up, also if you have your password protected, if you password protected your XML RPC, and if you've renamed your XML RPC. So you know not many people out there actually have these issues, but there are a group of people that have obviously emailed us and said, "Hey, why well, won't it work?" So. In order to make it work with those things, it, we have to actually get down to the basic code and rewrite it. And we've rewritten it and we're at the stage right now where we're testing it. We want to make sure it works and, and that part. And along with that, 
we're throwing in a bunch of bells and whistles. You yeah. know, I think I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to, because I want you guys to think about <laughs> what we're doing. But I think, to me, this is kind of my feeling. As a company that's developing Blogsy, we could have focused our attention on going out and adding platforms right now and just kind of, oh, we'll do that later. But I felt a sense of responsibility to these people that bought Blogsy and I don't know, I, f I feel some responsibility to them first. So that's to me, this update is really a lot about satisfying the current users. And as soon as we're done with this, which we hope to submit either earliest at the end of this week, uh, if not beginning of next week, and that means as soon as we submit it, it'll come out five days after that, so late next week, something like that, you guys will be getting it. And after we've done that, then we will turn our focus to adding right. platforms. And I, have, I already wrote up in a blog post, so if you guys, if you guys have read, you know, it kind of we're going to look at. We got to build a framework for it to add platforms, right? Mm -hmm. So we're, it, that's going to take some time. We're going to build that framework and maybe get one platform in there, uh, and then we have to turn our attention on making sure. Blogz is solid and working perfectly with iOS 5. We've got a plan for that, so we don't get a ton of emails saying, well, no. why isn't it working after my update? <laughs> and then as soon as we've done that and iOS 5 comes out, we will return to platforms and, you know, hopefully add 90% of the platforms you guys are asking for out there. Because we'll have the framework, we can slowly add one by one and get them all out to you. Right. So. And it's time to get back to work right now. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, this is, this is more fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. And please, leave a comment. Tell us what we should talk about next week. Tell us what sucked about this show and what we need to improve. Yeah, right. about our clothes, our hair. Oh, let's everything. not talk about clothes. <laughs> That's not going to change. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Bye, see you next time.